Three straight weekends of marathons with Chicago rounding it up. After a world record by Elliot Kipchoge in the Berlin Marathon, Amos Kipruda running away for the win in London, the Chicago Marathon had multiple men that could win this year's edition of the race. More than 40,000 runners took the streets of Chicago on a sunny and breezy Sunday. Chicago is known for its flat course and fast times. Four world records have been set on the course. One of the six world major marathons, making it one of the biggest races of the year. The day started with a low of 51 degrees and steadily rose as the hours went on. In the men's elite race, the course record was on the minds of multiple runners. With nice weather and Chicago's signature fast course, a new course record was possible. Through the beginning stages of the race, a big pack of men were bunched up together. Two paces out in front and the elite men were taken out in the first 5k in 14 minutes and 42 seconds, which translates to 4 minutes and 44 seconds per mile. The men's field contained returning champion, with Turo headlining a top four made up of only Ethiopian runners. Turo had a personal best time of 2 hours, 4 minutes and 29 seconds, putting him 39th on the all-time list. In last year's race in Chicago, the 25-year-old passed the line in 2 hours, 6 minutes and 12 seconds. The Chicago Marathon brought athletes to the city from all around the world. It's been cancelled only twice since it began in 1977. First in 1987 due to insufficient funding and then in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The 36th annual Chicago Marathon back in 2013 would witness the fastest time in the men's elite race has ever seen. Dennis Kepmito, who would set a new world record the following year at the Berlin Marathon with a time of 2 hours 2 minutes and 57 seconds, the first man to go on this 203, set the course record time in Chicago of 2 hours 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Kipmito broke the course record of the previous year by 53 seconds. A group of 10 men held strong to the first half of the race. After passing 10 kilometers in 29 minutes and 35 seconds and 15 kilometers in 44 minutes and 24 seconds, no one was making the move just yet. Through 20K, the average pace of the men's elite race stayed consistent around 4.46 per mile. The first half marathon split clocked 1 hour, 2 minutes and 25 seconds. At this pace, the course record was not in danger. But with so many men left in the lead pack, the race had yet to begun. Defending champion Toro, Benson Caputo, and John Correa were some of the guys within the lead group. 1 hour, 13 minutes, and 47 seconds through 25k, and 1 hour, and 28 minutes, and 32 seconds through 30 kilometers. The pace had now picked up to average around 4.43 per mile in this point of the race. After multiple men drop out from the lead group, Four men remain at the 35k mark, which would be passed in a time of 1 hour, 43 minutes, and 4 seconds. The pace had dropped to about 4.41 per mile. With less than 20 minutes of running remaining, Benton Kibudo decides to take the lead. Then around 10 minutes remaining in the race, he makes his move that would drop Tura and Career. From here on out, Kibudo will continue to increase his lead, leaving no one the chance of catching him. Just like in the Boston Marathon, where he waited to make his move, it would once again prove to be a successful tactic. Benson Kipruto goes on to win the 2022 Chicago Marathon in a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 24 seconds. No course record, but another world major marathon added to his resume. Thanks for watching the recap for the men's elite race. Like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching performances like this one. I'll see you in the next one.